hello hello everybody and I have not made as many videos this week I usually been making a couple videos midweek but I have been busy working on other things that are for the shrimp and fish and plants just not anything you really want to watch I've been cleaning decluttering selling my possessions even to make room for what I'm going to talk about today and I've even been crawling even spent one whole day crawling underneath the house jacking up the floor reinforcing the floor for stuff that I've already got going and for what I'm about to talk about today so the reason I'm going to be adding a whole whole bunch of new tanks and there'll be lots of new new stuff coming out for content so if you haven't already bookmark bookmark I want to say that I'm old <laughs> subscribe that's what we used to tell people when we were talking about websites back in the day I used to be a website developer believe it or not back from like 2000 to 2012 in another life and I used to always talk about bookmarking so I still say that sometimes from time to time but subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see so you know when I when I'm uploading new videos and there's gonna be a whole lot of new stuff coming out here in the next year and I'm pretty excited about it and let me show you what we got here this is a hundred gallon stock tank and I've had the guppy pond for years and it has been a really really good success and I see all the guppies I mean I got a thousand guppies and 50 plecos and I grow so many plants that I see how productive it is and I think I could do the same thing farming shrimp and farming aquarium plants in these great big stock tanks so my wife I've been wanting to do stuff like this for a while and she wasn't in she wasn't fully on board because she you know she lives here we have a pretty big house we're over 2,000 square foot but I already have like 27 tanks and the smallest one being 20 gallons in the house and so I've been wanting to do this for a while and she's pretty hesitant and she drew hard lines in the sand but now she's seeing the potential that this has is you know it started off as just a hobby and now it's transitioning into a business and she's fully supporting me always has and I'm very grateful for her for that but she's letting me expand so we can all thank her for that <laughs> So I'll talk about how I got into shrimp keeping and I have notes here so I don't get too off topic but I started keeping shrimp I had mainly guppy tanks and I thought I'm going to try these red cherry shrimp and some yellow golden backs that I got from Lucas Brett's I think it's five years now and they started doing good and slowly but surely over the last five years shrimp have taken over almost all my tanks and then eventually people started sending me messages on my comments and the videos and how can I buy your shrimp how can I do how can I get your shrimp I want to buy your shrimp or your guppies or your plants and so I was like all right now you got to email me and then I'll email you back and then you got then you got to send me the PayPal for the shrimp into the shipping, and so it was always it was always a pain. And so then just to streamline the process, I started the website. I figured that'd be worth it. I mean that website the website cost me about 300 bucks a year to keep going, but I figured it'd be worth it just to make things easier. And not only did it make it easier, it it quadrupled or times 10 maybe even the number of shrimp and stuff I was selling so that 
really streamline this, the process and I was completely shocked at the response I got and I want to thank everyone for all your support so one of the things I've learned since starting the website and that is there are so many people out there that are not even interested in breeding shrimp and that's fine people just want to get some pretty shrimp to keep and I've, got, I've always been in the mindset of I want the best quality possible this you know and three to five I've had I haven't had any new shrimp in three to five years from outside sources I've just liked what I've got and perfected well, I haven't perfected, but made better everything I've had over the last three to five years. And now we've reached this point. You know, back when I got my shrimp, it was before shrimping was more, I don't know, mainstream, I guess you'd call it. it used to be keeping shrimp period was just a little tiny niche market type of thing. And the best shrimp you could get were the home breeders home breeder shrimp and it still is to this day is I always recommend getting a home breed shrimp from a home breeder if you possibly can but I was paying all my shrimp lines I've almost well not all of them but most of them I paid eight to fifteen dollars per shrimp to get started and so you know I thought I'm selling these guys for five bucks a pop I figured I was giving everyone a heck of a deal and I am I, I feel like because they don't even compare to imported shrimp as far as breeding true and all that, but most people don't know that. The people that do recognize it and are appreciative of it and willing to pay the, you know. But you go to eBay and you see all these shrimp for less than two bucks a shrimp. And it's just kind of like, ugh. The last thing I'd want to do is put one of those in my tank. Who knows what in the world you're gonna end up getting. But, well that I know, Asking, I guess asking five bucks a shrimp is too much. But when you start getting down to the, for my calls, I mean, it, it, it still blows my mind. For my calls, but I sell Skittles for, I think I've, I've gone anywhere from, oh, 20 for $35 or 20 for 40, I go up and down depending on how many I'm selling at the time. If I'm running out, if I'm, they're selling too much for me to keep up with and I raise the price a little bit and but they, since I started the website they've normally been 20 for 35 dollars and that's what it's like a dollar 75 per shrimp and people buy I can't, I can't keep even with how many I got in there they're still going 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 and so I have learned people like cheap shrimp above all else it doesn't matter I mean, these people are getting imports for 20, 50 cents of each, hoping to get half of them to live and sell them for two or three bucks a piece to you. And you're getting a shrimp knocked on death's door. So there is a market out there, I think, for the quality might not be quite, quite what they are, but if I can mass produce shrimp, I think I can make a profit selling these make it worth it selling them for anywhere from I don't know same price as my calls now to a little bit more than that depending on the shrimp variety and how they're moving so that's what I'm doing with these great big tubs I think I can get hopefully one at least one for every line I have somewhere in the house and the wife has given me her reluctant support and not so much reluctant but so I'm going to be farming shrimp in my house so like I touched on earlier back three to five years ago when I was buying my shrimp getting my colony started I mean people didn't have any problem paying eight ten even more dollars per a neo carotene shrimp if it was you know really really good high quality but you know, like I said earlier, shrimp's mainstream now. The huge influx of cheap imports has brought the prices of shrimp down. And all the guys who are seriously doing the home breeding as a business, making a business out of it, a lot of them have 
you know, drop like flies because they don't think it's worth it unless they can get, you know, their eight to ten dollars of shrimp. They're just saying screw it or selling wholesale. You know, I did I did a lot of wholesaling before I started the website because at one point before I started the website, I was you know my wife was getting sick of all these tanks and they weren't really doing anything except you know a few orders are going out a month to people who are messaging me or emailing me you know it's just it's just pure hobby and my wife says do you really need all these tanks just to do that and you know I was debating on starting to tank some down and then I started then I had a guy just a chance encounter I started doing wholesale with him and then that made the wife real happy. Now the shrimp are at least paying for themselves. I mean, that's all about wholesale did is paying for my water and electricity and food to keep it all going. But you know, that was awesome. And then I started the website and the response blew me away. I mean, it's still, it's gone from a side hustle. You know, it, it's just a hobby transitioning into a small part-time business is where it's at now but I'm excited for things to come oh my clicker's not working sweet all right so I'm gonna look down and just continue I might cut this out I might not so in closing what really blew me away is not even someone, not a viewer or anything, but someone who knows someone who knows me. <laughs> I don't want to get specific, but I have someone who wants to be an investor in, in my business. And I was just like, you know, my th thoughts are, I'm still, at, I'm still pretty much at, at the hobby stage. You know, this isn't really even a business yet. So I'm gonna work on getting it to the point of being a business, I mean, it would be a good business. It's just it don't have the the um, it's not big enough. You know, it's just a hot a guy on YouTube with a few thousand subscribers. So I am hopefully going to get all several of these hundred gallon tubs going farming shrimp farming plants in my house and. That'll maybe start crossing the threshold of, wow, maybe this is a business. And then, when it's that point, then I'll see about having a facility built, either like a pool barn facility in my backyard type of thing or renting a big place. I don't know. We'll see where the, I don't know what the future holds, but I think there's definitely a market for the the importers they've inevitably brought the price of shrimp down and that's never going back up i mean that's the reality of it all when they can farm them in great big huge ponds and these guys can bring them over even if half of them die all they gotta do is get half of them to live long enough to flip to you and they're rolling in it even if they're only selling for a dollar 75 or 250 a piece and they're still, you know, if they're getting them for 20 cents or a lot of these guys, they'll have like five or six of them going together and they'll bring over 30, 40,000 shrimp in one go and they're getting it for nothing. I mean, they're getting it for nothing. And I still won't be able to compete with that. But I think people will realize the homebred, healthy, I think most people will realize that. But the days of getting shrimp for, you know, just for the average person wanting to buy shrimp those days are long gone of people paying eight nine ten bucks I mean there's people that do there's the people who are really famous and they can charge whatever they want and get whatever they want just because they're YouTube famous or celebrities or whatever that is but I'm not that and I don't think I ever will be <laughs> but so I got to grind and hopefully this will end up going pretty good and I can make it happen and we'll see what happens we'll see what the future holds and I want to thank each and every one of you who have been with me throughout the years all the friends I've made and everything doing this 
I'm super excited for the future and I want to thank all you guys for making it possible. Thanks for watching. Bye.